Hello, my lovelies. It is the morning after we lost our dear beloved Toby, and things on the farm must go on. So they are. Um, everybody's really sad, and I, I'm just trying to get through in hopes that we can not be sad for like five minutes <laughs> at some point. Lily is working on farm chores. Isabel has gotten her elder makeover. You need to go to the bathroom. Why do you people never go to the bathroom when you... Okay. It was, to be fair, full of your husband and child. Even the horses are sad. Jeff is taking care of the garden. And doing quite a good job. Jeremy is glowing blue in his grief. You know what you need to distract you? You need a horse show. Where is Ms. Dottie? She is sleeping, but her energy is excellent. So you are going to wake up Dottie and encourage training, and then we're going to go to a horse show. Because if... The universe favors us. We oh oh wait, you don't actually want to do a horse show. You want to work on her skills because we the horse show is only on the one day a week. Let me double check when that is. This competition is only available on Saturdays and it is Monday. So we have a full week to really work with Dottie. I don't think we encourage training yet, but she seems to feel fine. So we're going to seek emotional support and then we're going to encourage training and she still needs her temperament and her jumping. <laughs> oh, that is adorable. You young man, why don't you work on your thinking? Why don't you study your shapes? a couple of times, and then play in the cupboards. Some good thinking exercise. Jeff, you have to pee in your hungry. While I appreciate the effort, and we're going to let you finish because I love a good snow pal. Actually, let's, let's speed this along. Why don't you help build the snow pal, and then you guys can take care of the little ones together. And then you, young lady, you do need to get into a horse show today. You have a long way to go before you're ready for the ultimate horse show. You didn't finish the first snow pal and you started a second. Fascinating. Why don't you take care of the little ones? Yeah, it's really rough right now. Everybody is so sad. He's too half built. Snowmen are just... Oh my goodness. And we are going to be aging up um, Neil today. Your needs, except for fun, are great. So where is Fable? You were going to encourage training on Fable. Go Jeff! We got another knitting project complete. And Carter, who never went inside or spoke to anyone, is heading out. All right, let's do this. No, we're going to put you on Fable. Okay, we need to do Intermediate Western Pleasure next. Uh-oh, Neil is using his diaper. I don't think he's even going to get to level 3 potty before we age him up. He's super hungry. It was not that long ago that we had him eat. Okay, he's level 3 movement and thinking. So I think if we push imagination and potty, we can get him there before we age him up and even age him up at a reasonable hour. Why don't you finish these snow pals? Jeremy, where are you? <laughs> Making snow angels. You know what? Fair. Okay, you're kind of sleepy. Why don't you grab a nap and then we're going to work on Dottie's uh, temperament some more. And we have another gold medal! Woo! 
Why don't you take her for a ride? Because she still needs work on her endurance. And that will hopefully be fun for you both. Right, go for a ride. Is this fun for you? Yes, cool. This is fun for you both. Why are you asleep? My dude, uh, you need to eat. Grab a serving of this. I don't think he ate at all earlier. Kids these days. Oh, somebody's calling Jeff. Mom, mom, you're dead. No, thank you. All right, you're really close. Why don't you go for another ride and see if we can tip her over? Uh, the motive trials? Uh, no thank you. I'm not just going to abandon my home and family. Isabel, this might be the last cake you make for one of your children. And that makes me deeply sad. Let's make a hamburger cake. Once the cake is made, we'll get everybody in here for the birthdaying. You know what? I think we're going to call these snow pals done. Hey, Jeremy, why don't you add the candles? What do you mean it's not centered? All right. Jeremy, have a seat. Jeff, have a seat. Isabel, wake up and have a seat. Neil, my man, wake up and head this way. And then as soon as everyone's in the room, we will have Jeremy help him blow the candles. Or we'll have Isabel do it because she's already... Somebody help this baby blow the candles out. Okay, at least nobody is sad except Neil right now and that's because he's tired. And you're going to get your first grown-up adjacent. Now, there is a new trait that I want to play with. So we're going to give it to Neil so we can see what this is about. And he needs a child aspiration. I think... Let's do one of the multi-skills. Let's do... Let's do mental and creative. Because everybody in this family is kind of physical. So let's... Let's try the other and let's give this boy his makeover. Oh my gosh. Do you have a gap tooth smile? All right. I'm going to give this boy his makeover and I will be right back with you. All right. So we have our everyday outfits, our formal, our athletic, our sleepwear, our party wear, our swimwear, our hot weather and outdoor and indoor cold weather. And that is child Neil Vanderboot. Let's get this boy assigned to his proper new bed and honestly probably doing his homework. All right, Lily, why don't you? <laughs> All right, that was completely adorable, but it is late and everybody should be asleep. Are you sad because everybody said? Okay, you are also... He, he was really close to Toby. Let's assign this bed. Right, this is the only unassigned... There it is. Assign the bed. Neil, I have a ridiculous idea. And you guys may censure me for it. But I'm going to do it anyway. Neil wakes up in the morning. He's still quite sad over the loss of Toby. But he hears something outside in the barn. What could it be? I'm really hungry, but that's not important right now. What is important is that Neil goes outside and in the stable waiting for him is a magical unicorn. And the unicorn says, hello, my name is Windsong. 
And I have come to be your faithful friend. There's a fire! <laughs> Why is there a fire? This is not... Jeff! Jeff, extinguish yourself! the introduction of Windsong the Unicorn to go! I wanted a big shaggy rainbow unicorn to be Neil's friend. And, and instead, Jeff set himself on fire! Oh dear friends, we have no plans or requirements or ambitions for Winsong, save that he be Jeff's friend. Oh my goodness, look at the sparkles flooding off of him. He just sparkles. Did I make a mirror or a stallion? I didn't check that. Neil is too sad to make friends with Winsong. I just... <laughs> Winsong is a mare. Oh, and she's already getting along so well with the other horses. He's listening to Wind Song, and now he's gonna go get some food. Yes, we need to pay our bills. Lily, pay the bills! And then repair the computer! <laughs> oh, today is a day. Today is, is turning out to be quite the day. Alright. Sibel, how are you feeling? Why don't you take care of your garden today? We're gonna start passing it off to everybody. Chip, take a shower. Sweetie, Lily, why don't you get to repairing things? And Neil, after breakfast, you are going to <laughs> go riding on your unicorn. What? Where's this fire? Jeremy! Seriously? Jeff is afraid of fires! Okay, we're selling this. You guys don't get to have a grill anymore. My heart can't take it. We're not doing this. Route to safety! The fire's out! Winsong, are you an indication of dark times ahead? When is spring? Spring is next week. Oh my gosh, today's the... <laughs> And today is the wedding. Okay, Jeff, you're going to really quick visit your family and make sure that people are invited. Can I just ask him to the wedding? All right, let's 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 bring Lily here. Make sure that Lily knows all of his brothers. Polite introduction. It says Ren isn't home right now, but we know that Ren exists. Alright, cool. Oh, what a beautiful doggo! They both are. Oh my gosh! They have a shepherd named Sophie. True fact, I had a dog named Sophie who was a shepherd mix. I miss her very much, and she passed the age of, I want to say, 15 and a half. She was a quite venerable pupper. Did I forget to travel with Jeff? I totally did. Well, we'll bring him to us when we get there, and then we'll put up the wedding venue. I didn't prepare for this very well, did I? But we have a unicorn. Bring Jeff Grove here. All right, knock on the door. Now, Jeff, it is your turn to introduce yourself to everyone very quickly. Okay. Respectful introduction. Where are the kids? 
No, you have plenty of children. I bet the kids are at school. I bet the kids are at school, and I bet that Carter's at my house. Oh, wait! There is baby! Introduce yourself to baby! What a cutie! They named him Glenn! That is adorable! Alright. We're gonna plan outfits here. <laughs> Because I want to make sure it gets done before the timeline is up. Unless I already designed the outfits and I just forgot. We don't have time. Extricate yourself from this conversation. Everybody at home. Why didn't you load in at home? Okay, we're going to switch control to Neil and bring everybody home that way. Now, we're going to set up the wedding venue. Because we are quite short on time. We'll put it here. Alright. Got a little sweet venue. With an arch that looks like we could have put it up with ourselves with spare wood. And, and some cute little winter decorations. And just a flower petal aisle. Which I should make sure. Hey, Jeremy. Oh, you still need to take a shower. Oh, we got half an hour before the venue. Hey, you? Why don't you walk up the aisle? Or no, walk down the aisle to see if I laid the, the rug right, because it's a carpet. Awesome. You need to use the toilet. You... Don't have time, so we're going to hire a one-time gardener just to take care of the garden today because it needs a little bit of um, attention. Okay. We need to exchange. Oh, shoot. We didn't do a dance floor for the first dance. Don't worry. We can fix this really, really quickly. So we have this new dance floor that doesn't actually leave a mark on the floor in gameplay. And we'll get a stereo really, really quick. Hashiu, I thought this all out perfectly in advance. Perfection. Alright, we're going to be able to do this. Okay, so... Lily? W no, this is your wedding! What are you wearing? Put on your wedding dress! What on earth? You're supposed to default to... Okay. So, first we're going to invite as many family members as we can. So let's get Glenn. There's Dominic. And then we'll pop in with Jeff to see if we can get any more of his family. Same ones. All right. So, ceremony activities... Everybody gather at the aisle. What are you watching TV for? We're going to send down two Sims. We're going to send down Lily and Jeff. Please, please just work. He changed out of his wedding clothes. It's too late now. Okay, now real quick, no, don't you dare go anywhere, you're getting married. Change your, exchange vows and kiss. Thank you, Dottie. Your blessing is important to us. Apparently, apparently Lily is a happy crier. 
Farik Chork, Illanif Lerb. The boy! Lan, Apriva, Habri, Kumpini. Who's to pay? Niva Hana. With the lube Hizoya. From Yabya Farapu. Yoma. Ooh. Yep, we're cold. And Lily needs to pee. <laughs> Come on, guys, smooch. Nabor. Yasafar. Now, tick off. Well, yes. All right. Walk down the aisle, and you walk down the aisle. <laughs> Serapi. All right, that works. That works. All right, get inside before you freeze. <laughs> it's just like I can see you through the window. Where are Jeremy? Is in the shower, and Isabel. It's also in the shower. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Let's turn on. Let's turn on romance. You go ahead and use the toilet. You change into your formal outfit. As the mother of the bride. Benaya, Meshka, Ansel. <laughs> oh, part of me is a little sad, and part of me says, "You know what? It's a sim wedding. Are you done? Marvelous." You are going to have first dance with Jeff. <laughs> Everyone else is just still gathered at the aisle. It is what it is. <laughs> you are going to have your first dance with your... What are you guys doing? I put a dance floor in the house. <laughs> there is literally a dance floor in front of the stereo. But we had a perfect wedding. It was perfect. We did everything. <laughs> Oh goodness. I think we're going to have Isabel cook a grand meal and call everybody to it. Just so it feels more like a wedding party. <laughs> I might die laughing. Let's do a fish dinner. We don't do a fish dinner often enough. And Neil skipped the wedding to go do his homework. Admittedly, I forgot the wedding was today, so I could have done a better job preparing for this instead of getting us a unicorn. But I think Windsong is worth it. I mean, look at her. Look at that perfect, glorious creature. She sparkles. Literally, effervescent. You know what? You have a boatload of... You have an absolute boatload of aspiration points. Let's get fear be gone for everybody. I think all of the adults are afraid of fire. So go in your inventory. We'll give one to Jeremy. 
One to Jeff. One to Lily. And then we'll drink one ourselves. Shabini Jabit. Turp system. Shame Corbett. It was a lovely wedding ish. Where are all of our guests? Did everybody go home? Oh, I don't know what I expected. Jeremy, wake up and grab a serving with everybody else. I love this. We have an indoor winter wear, two outdoor winter wears, a formal and pajamas, eating the wedding meal. And I think... I think this is a perfect ending to today's episode. I think we will continue on in the future with our adventures with Windsong the Unicorn. Uh, we have we have horse shows to finish. We've we've got a whole world to explore. Are you sick? Well, I will pass you some medicine from whoever is currently holding it. And with that, I have been Edith Ivy. This has been The Sims 4 Horse Ranch. I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have. Oh, I guess we aren't sick. We just had a headache. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have. If you have enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, a comment, Maybe even subscribe and ring that notification bell to bring you back for more. It means so much every time you do. I hope you have a happy time zone wherever in the world you are. And I will see you next time.